Welcome to New York City at the world's most famous arena. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebalski. Montreal's coming into this one on the second leg of a back-to-back -back here tonight, Ray. Yeah, and to couple that, you're on the road where you're unfamiliar, you've got travel. There is a challenge to this, but the focus of the team has to be about playing a good first period. Worry about the rest of the game later. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Shil Levesque is ready to drop the puck. The Rangers start with possession as we are now underway. The Canadians gain possession in their own end. Montreal got it in their own zone. Breakaway! Big save! I don't. I thought he had it, but they're, they're saying it's a goal now. That's in the net. Montreal's got the game's first goal. That didn't take long. I think I blinked and they're already on the board. Somebody came ready to play. That first shift doesn't usually result in a goal. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as hard as he could. Goodness. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Shesterkin's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. And loses possession after a solid hit. Scores! We're all tied up! And now their bench has a little more relief as they've evened up the score. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a tie game. The Rangers win the faceoff. Puck grab by Panarin. The Rangers played along the boards. Tries to get the puck over to Weber. Now a quick pass to Domi. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Taken by Edmondson. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Passes on over to Dauphin. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Sabinashad. Handles the puck at the point, and he makes the save. The Canadians look to start the transition game. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And he takes a shot, turned aside with a glove. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Quick feed to Bushnevich. Pokes it away in his own end. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Past the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Goalie plays it up. New York's moving it up the ice. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Here's a howitzer at the net. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. Through center along the wing. To his teammate. Goes right to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know, he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. In the final moments of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Simone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The setters will glide into the dot. Sajak's won the draw. New York's got the puck at center. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Denies that opportunity. But he came out and challenged a good save. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. And he comes up with it. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Battle along the boards. Pretty fun start to this one. 
Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. Still tied up here as we get underway here in period number two. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Rangers look like they're climbing uphill trying to generate something offensively. They really have not been dangerous at all. Scrum along the boards. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot. Puts it in for the go-ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You've worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. Montreal's gone up by one here in this second period. Pretty important goal to get to break the tie here as you get into the middle frame, and now you have a chance to control maybe the way the game's played. That pass goes a little sideways. Pushes it across to Zabinashad. Rocked him in the open ice. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Weber's got it in the defensive end. And he regains control of the puck. Domi's got it in the offensive end. Here's a shot with the stop. A defenseman loves this. The puck doesn't stay in front of the net. It's now in the corner. He doesn't have to worry about fighting another guy for position. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Canadians have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Montreal's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. The Canadians have it against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stays with it. Centering pass! And that one's broken up. Great block there. Looks to make a play over to Hartman. They've got numbers with the stop. New York's playing the puck from the blue line. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Can't connect. Comes up with the block. Huge steal in his own end. Montreal's coaches had talked about stick positioning to us before the game. There's a great example. They've done it all night. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Lemieux. New York's on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Drouet. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Strong use of the body. Moves it to Evans. Handles the puck. Here's a chance. Denied by the goaltender. Kako's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Turns it away. He scores! Talk about capitalizing there. They look like they were more aggressive knowing that they were going to get a power play. You can take a chance. There's no risk of giving up anything again. They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. The Canadians have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Here's a chance, and he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the horn ending, period number two. Boy, no shortage of offense here. Fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski, and we are ready to get this third period going. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? New York's ahead in this high chance, high danger game. No use changing the way you're going to play now. There he is from the slot, blocked in traffic. The Rangers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Here's a short pass to Evans. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. He was locked in there.
James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Canadians make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Dished on over to Zabinijad. Cuts into the paint. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Sharp reaction save. Zabinijad's exploring options with the puck. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Quick pass to Lekanen. The Canadians move it in. McQuaid's lugging the puck. A little rock'em sock'em on the play. Jabs the puck away. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Kreider's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. Snaps one here in the slot. Stones him in front. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Not able to connect. Couldn't connect on that pass. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to cut Kaniemi. Big save. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. And he denied that opportunity. Big save by the goaltender once again. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Rangers have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Rangers fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Moves it quickly over to Zabinijad. Back to the point it goes and puts it wide in the cage. Man, it tells you how close it can be. If that's two inches to the other side, it's off the post and in. Nothing doing on that. Moves it to Zabinijad. On the attack along the boards. Back at the point, they set it up. He says, let's get physical on that play. Chance in front. He scores! One-timer and a beaut. He one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Just here in the late stages of this frame, New York's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And this one's in the books. Kreider's hat trick leads the way in this victory, Ray. Your thoughts at ice level? Goal scorers are supposed to score. He had opportunities and he did not miss tonight. And a simple but still effective salute by the Rangers tonight. One of the first teams to do it, just go to center ice and Rangers. The result that they were hoping for and they executed on last night. All right, back to the phones we go. It's John in High River. John, how are you? Well, I thought it was a nice win, but was our rookie even out there? Well, I wouldn't say he had a hat trick or a four-point effort or anything along those lines, but I think that one thing I've noticed from the coaching staff, they seem to be working with him a little more in terms of away with the puck. Well, what does that have to do with his performance tonight? Do you even know anything about hockey? I watched this guy and he was non-existent. All right, if you're just going to act like a clown on the air, we're going to simply move along because I know that Frank's waiting patiently on line number seven. Busy night of action on the ice. Let's take a look at some of the finals that are in from tonight. The Habs, Jose, tightened it up late in their own end and did enough to preserve the win. The Ducks were hoping to grab two points up against the Kings. Los Angeles posts a win in a close one. Well, this should be a fun one tonight. Hey, everybody, James Sabalski back here on the show. But coming up, 
Two of the game's more entertaining players this season will be on display, and Ferraro and I will be bringing you that broadcast. As Hey, look, we already know how established the incumbent is, right? One of the best in the game and has proven as such over the last few years. On the flip side, the kid's kind of saying, hey, there's a new sheriff in town, if you will. Looking forward to seeing a little game of anything you can do, I can do better because these two have certainly shown they are two of the more dynamic talents in the league. All right, elsewhere around the National Hockey League tonight, we're going to check... Are days like this gearing up for a big game agonizingly long? Sometimes they, it's like the clock never moves. Remember when you were a kid and you were looking at the clock in school and you're like, school? would you oh. please move along and oh. nothing happens? It's like that a lot for a player too. And when you're a young player, you don't have a lot of experience. The nerves really build as the day goes on. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hockey Town here in Detroit, Michigan. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. The Red Wings closing out a homestand that hasn't been very friendly to them to this point. This is always the problem when you schedule multiple games at home in a row. If you start poorly or start playing poorly in the homestand, it's tough to turn it around. They'd like to finish off nicely here and then get on the road. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Rangers take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway. Keeps hold of the puck, grips it and rips it, turns it away on the slap shot. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Detroit's got it in the defensive zone. Pokes the puck away. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Zabinijad. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Bronix taking it from his own end. Takes the pass. And now it's over to Bertuzzi. Takes the feed. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Quick pass. Scores! Putting the man in Mantha. Anthony Mantha. The Red Wings seem to be taking advantage of some home cooking tonight. What a great start for them. They come out, the puck hits the ice, and they're by far the most aggressive team. Evans setting up against the wall. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Rangers need to find a way to answer back here in this first period. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Nice poke check. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Red Wings don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Puck moved over to Bertuzzi. And he slides it quickly to Larkin. There's the whistle, offside is the call, stopping the play. The Red Wings don't have much to smile about when they look at the standings. I mean, they're looking up at pretty much everybody. A poor start to the season makes you chase it all year long. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Red Wings have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Takes that pass back to the point. And that's blocked. A chance right in front. Scores! Man, he laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Grabs it in his own end. Moves the puck to Panarin. Take it along the wall by Truba. Up along the wing. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Slides the puck over. That's a solid check on the play. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. 
Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Panarin's moving the puck through his own zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Levels him with the hit. The Rangers must be feeling a little snake bitten trailing in the late stages of the first. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Red Wings have it now. Quick feed to Nemestikov. Detroit's on the attack. Battling for it along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Rangers take possession in the defensive end. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Turn that one aside. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. His reflexes on display tonight. There's the horn ending the first period. It went back and forth, and it's a close one here. Hey, fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendars. They're available in section 144. Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Simple stop by Rene. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Rocks him. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Big play inside the defensive zone. Oh, he caught him! Did he ever? Head down, right into the train tracks. Puck scooped up by Buchnevich. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Evans. Here's a shot. That's off a stick. Detroit's got the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Just slide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Here's a shot and makes the save. Denies him again. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. The Rangers haven't had a lack of scoring opportunities, but they are still behind on the scoreboard. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's 2-1. The Rangers win the draw. And here's the pass to Bushnevich. And that's intercepted. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Evans scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Panarin. Moves the puck along the half wall. Nice pass. Here's a short pass to Evans. Denies him! Uses the force on that hit. New York's gained possession along the boards. The Rangers have it in the offensive end. Rister stopped by the goaltender. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Cuts to the front. Moves with the puck at the corner. Solid body contact. Sends a pass over. Here in the later stages of this period, Detroit's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. New York's got it in the offensive zone. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. And now he moves it to Raymond and tries to make a diagonal pass to Fabry. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Takes a shot. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Bucks, there's been no shortage of offense tonight. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up.
extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Puts it on net. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Larkins picking up steam. With possession along the wall. Oh, you can't miss that. Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. He scores! They tie it up! I've been working hard to get this game back to level, and that goal will do it. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. This game's still wide open here. Ray, any sense of strategy down the stretch? Well, the strategy is going to be go with your best players, and that includes the rookie. It looks like the coach has a lot of faith in him, and even in a tie game, he's going to get him on the ice. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Larkins won the draw here in the open ice. The Red Wings looking against the half wall. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Puts it on net, and that goes wide. Puck battle along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Mantha. Stones up with the blocker. Trying to get back on the attack now. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Denies him, he got all of it! The centermen glide into position. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick pass to Evans. They go on the attack through center. Heedles, he scores! That's the hat trick! Oh, what a great feeling to get three goals in a game. Doing it on the road is a, is a real nice trick. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. The Rangers are up by one. You don't like the term protect a lead, though. Oh, I, I hate it, James, because that means you're just inviting the other offense into your zone. Play it up the ice. It's way easier to defend 150 feet from your net. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Along the half wall with the puck. Puts it up front. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Made the save on the play. Dangerous spot in the slot. And the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. The Hurricanes are on the schedule for the next day here. Yeah, it's fine for us to look ahead, but you really can't do that. You still got to finish the job at hand. And that shot dies in traffic. Buchnevich is stick handling in his own zone. And now he tries to get it across to Evans. Here they are on the attack. Right in front with the shot. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Rene. Solid check to slow him down. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Bushnevich. Can't find his man. Ronick's got the puck in his own zone. Manages to hang on. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Detroit's got it behind the net. And that's picked off. Moves the puck. Panarin's got it along the wing. Denies him in front. And he elects to play the puck. And he slides it quickly to Mantha. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Tries to feed it over to Hedl. The Red Wings look to start the transition game. Abdelkader's got it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Nemestikov. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. In a tie game, you don't get many chances. That was a chance to break it right there. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Moves it to Evans. Detroit's got control of the puck. Drills them. New York's got the puck in their own end. 
And they fail to go tape to tape. Quick shot. Gets in front of it. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Passes over to Nemestikov. There's the horn to end period number three. Still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Overtime is set to get underway. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Time to boogie. Oh, the anticipation ramping up in this barn. You can just feel it right now. Moment of truth for both sides. Sudden death over time. Let's get it on. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. New York's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Scrum along the boards. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. New York's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Evans. Here he is in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Panarin's been nabbed for tripping. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. Overtime solves absolutely nothing, so we'll head to a shootout. Coaches getting their final lists in here as both teams will settle this one in a shootout. Scores! Oh, what a snipe! Didn't have much room. It looked like the goalie was in pretty good shape. But this one's in the back of the net. I like his patience. He gets it to the backhand and puts it in. Larkin's up next. It's his time to shine. Larkin. Advantage goalie on that. Now, there's no dice. I... I got a good view of it. There's just nowhere to shoot the puck. If he can snipe one here, he can really put a stranglehold in this shootout. Gives him absolutely nothing on that. It's amazing how many points are alive in a season. The goalie has to be good if you're going to collect some of them. Mantha's up next. He needs a goal here. Makes the stop. This is why they practice it, right, Ray? Yeah, keep it as uncomplicated as possible, and he makes a good save. Next shooter for the Rangers, number 77, Anthony D'Angelo. Makes it look easy on the play there, Ray. I think it's harder for the goalie in the shootout than it would be on a breakaway. The really? shooter has so much more time. Well, if there was ever a time to score one, this is it. Here we go. And he denies him. Really important for the goalie to be solid in the shootout. And that puts a bow on this one. It needed a shootout. I know a lot of people in traditionalists and purists don't like the shootout, but man, they're entertaining. And that's the way the game has gone. It's supposed to be about fun. They're able to lock this down in the shootout. performance by the kid but another layer to this was I was told prior to puck drop the coaching staff pulled the youngster aside and challenged challenged him to see if he could one-up the superstar he was lining up against out there and you know what mission accomplished if you can challenge a kid and get results like that all day every day do it more because that was a brilliant call on the coaching staff's part in that one. All right, let's check in for a quick little break, and then we will come back. Into the regular season. I like what I'm seeing. Here's hoping there's no rookie wall, because I'm buying what he's selling. All right, back to the phones we go. All right, let's get all you poolies and all you hockey fans caught up on all the action out on the ice tonight.
The Rangers were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Red Wings. The New York Rangers turned it up in the skills competition and they get the extra point in the win. The Devils were hoping to fly high on the road against the Maple Leafs. New Jersey took this one on the strength of a great effort in goal for the shutout win. The Wild paired up with the Ducks. Minnesota pulls this one out in a game that went right down to the finish. We are as cool as ice and we are bringing you many more stories from the NHL. We're doing it next.